our sins unto God, let us recite together the second form of the act of confession. I confess one and the Holy Trinity in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, human brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in God worthy of Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. And grant us your salvation. Lord, hear our prayer. And let the Lord be with you. And let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we may enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and it shall be for the Lord. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, your Son taught us that inward disposition is far more important than our outward behavior alone. Help us to submit to all your precepts, not grudgingly out of necessity, but because we acknowledge your love for us through Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray, Almighty God and Father, we firmly believe that your Son, Jesus Christ, died for us and rose to life. We pray this day for our brothers, for Tom and Riley Peterson, and for John Mashashik, who lived and died in this faith. Raise them at the last day to share in the glory of the risen Christ. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you, in your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin upon you. You shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord? Our God is to us whenever we call upon him. Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law, which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Your responsorial psalm, the one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up, up a reproach against his neighbor by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. The one who does justice, live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall not be disturbed. The one who does justice, live in the presence of the Lord. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. James the Apostle. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willingly willed to give us birth by the word of truth that we may be a kind of first fruits of his create, creators. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and wid widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. This is the word of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty 
and eternal God who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. When the Pharisees, with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem, gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tra tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, Lysgenesis, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. This is the gospel of the Lord. Senator John McCain. I think it can be said that they brought most of our nation together, even but for a moment, in love 
and fellowship. In the case of the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, how she touched so many through her music. How blessed we are to have heard that voice sing gospel, soul, and even opera. Who could say that they were bored with her five-hour service of music and prayer? In contrast, I have been told that I need to make my sermon shorter than 10 minutes. <laughs> Among her achievements, 112 charted singles, 17 top 10 pop hits, 20 number one rhythm and blues hits, 18 Grammy Awards, a Kennedy Center honoree, and a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, a most classy lady who gave her all and used the talent that God gave to her to touch others. And then there was Senator John McCain, a Navy pilot shot down in North Vietnam in 1967, surviving and breaking both arms and a leg. He was housed in the infamous Hanoi Hilton and was refused medical treatment and who was tortured for years by the North Vietnamese. He spent most of his captivity in solitary confinement with only his faith and his fellowship with fellow prisoners. Even when given the opportunity for an early release, he refused until others were released. After his release, he continued in service by regaining his naval flight status. He retired from active service in 1981, earning the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, the Legion of Merit, a Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Flying Cross. He was an elected U.S. House Representative and a U.S. Senator and a presidential candidate in 2008. I think one of the most moving of all tributes paid to John McCain came from all places, North Vietnam, where the government took a plaque which honored him being shot down and re-erected it as a shrine decorated with flowers for all he did following the war in Vietnam and his 21 return trips. I was able to catch late last night some of the highlights of both Aretha Franklin's and John McCain's services. The one thing that touched me about Aretha's service was the main message on the, sa on the stage. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. With Senator John McCain's service, it was the coming together of Republicans and Democrats, and of course the eulogy of his daughter, Megan. The phrase, coming together, was most apparent for our nation at this time, where we were not just black and white, or Republican and Democrat, but one people who were drawn together in a common love and respect for these two great and outstanding Americans. I think of today's reading from the book of Deuteronomy, where we hear these words attributed to Moses, who spoke of the statutes and decrees given unto the people by God. Observe them carefully, for thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that the God so close to it 
as the Lord our God is to whoever we call, whenever we call upon him. Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as the whole law which I am setting before you today? My brothers and sisters, our great nation is in a crisis. There is so much decisiveness, hostility, bitterness, and so many other negative energies that take away from us being a nation of wise and intelligent people. In our faith, we believe that the Lord God is ever before us and who beckons us to draw close to Him, to rely on Him, and to trust in Him. The Lord God has set before this great nation and to our founding fathers laws of equality and democracy. Our blessed Lord, Jesus Christ, has set before us the good news and has told us and showed us the love that He has for all of us, even to the point of offering Himself upon the cross for our failures. The Lord has called each of us to righteousness. He has called us to decency. He has called us to respect and to love one another. We have seen His presence in the faces of those who gather together to celebrate the lives of our sister Aretha and our brother John. A celebration of the common bond as a chosen people which cements each of us to one another. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, may the passing of these two great Americans become for each of us and for our leaders and for our nation the standard by which we may bring forth a light of wisdom of this great nation by which others may see and know us as a nation built upon the laws and the decrees that the Lord God has set before us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted by God, our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray, gracious Father, as we present these gifts before you, we ask that whenever we struggle with the evil about us, whenever human trans traditions obscure your will, draw us to a more zealous obedience. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, accept this sacrifice we offer to you and our prayers for our departed brothers. For John Mishashek, for Tom and Riley Peterson, may your love cleanse them from the effects of their human weaknesses and forgive any sins that they may have committed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and to make it pleasing to yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our savior took bread, into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, giving thanks to you. He blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again he gave thanks to you, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you shall do these things, do them in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, and Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord we pray this day. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, John, Tom, and Riley, who have gone before us with the Son of Faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us your sinful servants who hope in the greatness of your mercy, so part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. 
instructed by our Savior's teaching, and uh, following divine example, we say with confidence, Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Pray for us. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching, and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation, though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in us a living faith, a fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the heavenly bread, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come into my heart, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. shall I return unto the Lord. For all the graces he hath rendered unto me, I will take the chalice of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. 
with high praise will I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. <clears throat> May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord.
see, you, see to it that no one leaves you empty with seductive philosophy according to human trans tradition, according to the elemental powers of the world, and not according to Christ. The Lord be with you. Regrade us in the image of your Son, so that we, putting aside all human vanities, may receive his <laughs> word, which alone can save us, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Lord our God, your Son, Jesus Christ, gave us the sacrament of his body and blood, to guide us on the way to your heavenly kingdom. May our brothers, John Meshashek, Tom and Wiley Peterson, who shared in the Eucharist, come to the banquet of life, which Christ has prepared for us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Pleasing to you, most holy Trinity, grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Following Holy Mass Fellowship Hour in our parish hall, also monthly meeting of the Ladies' Adoration of the Most Blessed Sacrament. Tomorrow being Labor Day, and I don't know where the days went, I pray that on Labor Day, which many consider the close of summer, I hope it is a day that you can come and share with your, uh, go and share with your families and to be able to enjoy the fellowship. May you have a safe and a happy Labor Day. I bring to mind next Saturday parish projects and I'm asking for men and women if they can give an hour of their time, especially the men. There are things that we were able to do yesterday, but it is an ongoing thing. We need to be able to address the condition of the, uh, of the garage. We have to remove a lot of weeds from the garden. And I want to thank yesterday, Wayne and Alice and Shirley for coming and giving of their time. You know, I say to people, the reason 
for the work projects is that it's important for each of us to have ownership into the church. And if you can give an hour of your time to come down and to be able to do something around the parish for the good of the parish, to make it more beautiful. And I bring to mind, Richard, especially, for you taking the time to come and to be able to repair, uh, repair the dry rot that was on the shed doors and to paint. Little things like this go a long way because whenever there's anything done around the parish, you're not doing it for me. You're doing it for each other and you're doing it for the love and dedication you have to this church. So if your time permits, nine o'clock next Saturday, bring some breaks and I'm sure that we will, if we come together, we may be able to take care of everything within a couple of hours and to be able to stand back and say, we did a pretty good job, like the dear people who came yesterday and Richard who gave of his time. I bring to mind also in the back of the church, I, I set out about 15 of the letters that I, that I drafted because next Sunday what I would like very much is I would like to meet with the men of our parish. Just as the ladies come together every single month, during most of the months of the year, and they set their agenda, it is important for the men of our parish to come together to organize and also to be able to plot forward with the projects that are needed around <coughs> the parish. I also bring to mind, in conjunction with the Ladies' Adoration Society meeting, that I prepared, um, as was sent to me by Janice Klimchak, I did a little bit of uh, reformatting, but what I have for the ladies in the back of the church is the, uh, the minutes of the Eastern Diocesan United Society of the Adoration of the Most Blessed Sacrament, the 67th um, convention that was held on May 19, 2018. Ladies, please take a copy and to be able to be aware of what took place during that convention. I also bring to mind that in our prayers today, you remember John Mishashik, his 12th anniversary, if I'm not mistaken, thank you. And also my dear sister asked if we could say prayers for Tom and Wiley Peterson. Uh, very good friends, best of friends for my sister. Tom died of complications of Alzheimer's and dementia. And his son was so distraught, he took his own life. And so, if we can remember in prayer, the father and the son, as well as for John Mishashik. Are there any other intentions? Yes, Peg. Thank you, Dave. Is there anything else? Well, I want to share with you that um, last Saturday we had a, the Tibetan community that came, put on a beautiful a buffet of different Tibetan foods, and also there was a concert that was held in our church. I was able to see Chris Collins this past Monday, where we downloaded not only the mass, but we also downloaded the concert. And it is appearing on channel 12 and 15, but most importantly, it is also appearing on YouTube. I had uh, briefly brought that to the attention in the bulletin that you need to go, uh, all our masses and anything that's associated 
holy name of Jesus 2018. And Bill, I don't uh, always remember uh, simple gifts that are given to the parish. Bill, for you and also for Eric, who have religiously taken the time, given of your time, so that we could record and we could broadcast our services. May God bless each and every single one of you. And now let us conclude with a final prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the souls of John Meshachek, for Tom and Riley Peterson, and for all the faithful departed, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.